Ferrari needs to catch up enormously by 2020. In 2019, they were still fighting for victories and in 2020, they are mainly fighting for points. In recent weeks, more and more upgrades are coming in to improve the car and upgrades are also expected at the Nürburgring. Let's get started. A German news site sees that the Italians have already bought some upgrades to a Sochi and they expect Ferrari to bring some upgrades to a Nürburgring as well. The most important changes to come should ensure that Charles Leclerc's and Sebastian Vettel's car will have more downforce at the rear. For example, a new floor is expected to be ready for the circuit in Germany. Benato has indicated that if the upgrades give the same data as in the wind tunnel, the focus will be on the diffuser. There is still a lot of potential in this and it will also provide more downforce around the back of the car. This is where the focus is now because the problems at Ferrari were mainly there. As a result, they drove with very little downforce at the front so that the car was still somewhat in balance. Thanks to the new upgrades at the rear of the car, Ferrari's car can get through some corners faster again, which will give Vettel confidence and speed in particular. Although no opposed to the idea of reverse grids, Cyril Lebedeau says Formula 1 needs a competitive field more than it needs gimmicks. Formula 1 bosses had considered running reverse grid races at this year's double headers but the plan was shelved only to be dusted off again after the Italian Grand Prix. The chaotic race that was red flagged ended with Pierre Gasly taking the victory ahead of Carlos Sainz and Lance Stroll. Immediately, the idea of doing something to shake up the order was again proposed. A fun sporting boss Ross Braun says he would like to see the sport try reverse grids even if it is a reverse grid sprint race for qualifying. Renner team boss Abit Bull says he is open to the idea that he would rather have Formula 1 be in a position where those in the midfield have a genuine opportunity to race for wins. Racing his way to a comfortable fourth at Sochi, Ross Brown believes Sunday's result is proof that Sergio Perez deserves an F1 seat. Perez stood out from his midfield rivals in Sunday's Russian Grand Prix, taking the checker flag 30 seconds behind race winner Valtteri Bottas and 22 seconds ahead of fifth place Daniel Ricciardo. On a weekend where he had looked as if Renault had racing points measure, Perez put in a faultless drive to climb to 9th in the standings. He has 56 points, just one behind his teammate Lance Stroll, and he did that while being forced to sit out for two Grand Prix. Perez has been linked to Alfa Romeo and Haas for next season and could find himself teaming up with rookie driver Mick Schumacher. The 21 year old German won Saturday's Formula 2 feature race in Sochi before finishing P3 in the red flag sprint race on Sunday. He extended his point scoring run to 12 races and also his lead in the championship. He is up to 191 points, 22 ahead of Callum Eilat. Braun would like to see Michael Schumacher's son promoted next season. Anyways, now it's time for meme of the day and here it is. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.